My name is uh, Sandra Moreau. I'm the executive director of uh, the International Debate Education Association. And um, we are delighted to uh, welcome you tonight with our partners, uh, Brussels Debaters, um, Solvay Debating Society and Debating Europe. And uh, we will debate about um, the United Kingdom uh, leaving the European Union. So I just want to uh, make a short introduction so that you understand the, the roles of all the different debaters tonight. Um, so there are, as you can see, two teams of three speakers with limited time. One team is in favor of the motion that you can see that you saw just before, uh, which is called the proposition. And there is one team uh, against uh, the proposition, which is called the opposition. Each speaker speaks once for five minutes. Uh, the audience can ask questions and make comments for five minutes. And again, questions with 30 seconds per questions. And please be short, brief, and it's really 30 seconds. Um, there is a moderator, which is myself, and a timekeeper, which is Clément, who is uh, just uh, there. Uh, the debate is recorded. And after, will be posted on uh, Debating Europe's online platform to reach a wider audience and policymakers. Right, so let's introduce the speaker. So for the motion, you have Chloe. So uh, thank you for coming tonight. Peter. OK. And Alexandra. Uh, against the motion, there is Sophie. So welcome. Flavius and Estelle. So just one thing, as far as they are concerned, the two teams, it's not what they believe in, it's just a role play, and it really doesn't represent uh, the personal view of the speaker. So they are just playing a role tonight. Um, as guest speakers tonight, uh, which will represent more what they believe in. There is Doru, who is going up for the moment, and uh, with the executive uh, director on, of Vote Watch, and uh, will be presenting about um, what he believes uh, might happen uh, if uh, the UK leaves uh, uh, the European Union. Um, the person who is going to represent more um, for uh, li uh, basically um, UK uh, leaving the European Union is Thomas Piller. Staying. staying in. Staying, okay. Um, with the Vice President uh, of uh, the Global Public Policy Europe, Middle East and Africa, the Walt Disney Company and President of the British Chamber of Commerce. So thank you uh, for coming to that tonight. So th and thank you to Doru as well. So uh, we are very pleased to welcome them as well. Right. How it is set up, don't worry, it's, it will be just two minutes so that you understand. So as you could see, there is a, team, uh, a timekeeper, a moderator, a proposition team, an opposition team, and an audience. So how it works. So you have a first speaker of the proposition team that will introduce the motion, define the important terms of the motion, and provide arguments to support the interpretation of the motion. After the first speaker of the opposition team will refute the first uh, proposition's argument, establish uh, his or her uh, team's arguments, and provide arguments to support their side. Then the second speaker will refute the first opposition's arguments, rebuild and defend the first proposition's arguments, and provide additional arguments to support the motion. Then the second speaker of the opposition team will refute the proposition's arguments, especially the new arguments, rebuild and defend the first opposition's arguments, and provide new arguments to support his or her team. Then floor speech. So then the audience uh, will uh, be uh, ask, uh, will be welcome to ask questions or comments. Uh, 30 seconds per questions or comments. And uh, I will ensure that you don't uh, go over the 30 seconds. Um, you won't have an answer straight away. So it's just questions that 
uh, you have based on uh, what the people already spoke or a general question you have, but you won't have an answer straight away, and you will understand after. So what will happen after you ask your questions? The third speaker of the opposition team will summarize the most important questions and comments from the audience, then identify the main disagreements between the debate and give reasons for voting for uh, his team or her team. Then to conclude, the third speaker of the proposition team will summarize the most important questions and comments from the audience. Again, uh, a thing I forgot to ask, to say, sorry, is that the audience, you can ask questions directly to uh, the uh, opposition, to the proposition, or in general. It depends on, based on what you uh, will have heard. Then the, the third speaker will identify the key points of clash, and then give the reasons for voting for uh, uh, their team. Another thing, uh, you have point of information. A point of information is a short interjection uh, addressed to the debater who is speaking by a member of the opposition team. Uh, the opposi opposing team members must first stand and indicate that they wish to offer a point of information. And they may say point of information. And the opposi opposing team member can accept or reject uh, a point of information. Each speaker must accept at least one point of information. Um, another little rule is that uh, POIs are not allowed during the third speaker speech because it's where, when they are summarizing the arguments, so you can't bring uh, additional questions. And POIs are, not, al are allow not allowed sorry, during the first minute and the last minute of every speech. <coughs> The moderator, myself, so I will maintain order and non force rules. Um, I will intervene only when necessary to respect the rights of each debater. And um, I, do, I will not take active part in the debate. The timekeeper, Clément, um, will help the debaters and myself to maintain control of timing. So after one minute, he will raise a green card. So it's when the uh, opposition team can ask for POIs. After four minutes, he will raise a red card. Um, then the POIs are no longer uh, allowed. After five minutes, he will raise two red cards, and time is over. And I will make sure that uh, the speaker stops speaking after five minutes. Voting. You've been distributed um, cards one uh, green, one red, and we will ask you to vote, and vote for the motion at the beginning. So either you are in favor of the motion or you are against the motion. And uh, you will do it before we start the debate and after the debate. It's just to see if one team was able to convince more than the others. So, uh, if you are, of course, for the motion, you will uh, raise uh, a green card, and if you are against, you will red, raise uh, a red card. Uh, 